guys and welcome back to another beautiful day here in Thief Simulator. I've got a feeling things are about to go off the rails. We are going to be learning Specialization Level 2, which unlocks sleeping gas and the respirator. People don't call the police after waking up. Be aware of the smoke detectors, though. So we're going to go ahead and learn this. This is going to be insane. So we have the baton. We could put people to sleep. But when they wake up, they remember they were hitting the head and they call the police. Here, we're just going to naturally put people to sleep and they're not going to know what hit them. Very excited for this. So uh, not Rob Tips. We want steel gear. I'm assuming we're going to want to get the respirator as well. I, I don't want to be falling asleep on the job myself. So we're going to buy a $10,000 bottle of sleeping gas. I don't know how long that's going to last. We're also going to buy a respirator here. So we're 11 k and it's a new equipment. On his wife, and he's trying to get it on with my daughter-in-law. I need you to fuck up their residence. Steal everything you can. You name it. Okay. I mean, we're, we're going to hit him as hard as possible. We want to uh, get all the loot, all the missions. We're going to hit him harder than your stepdaughter. <clears throat> okay. Um, a little bit too early for that, Trev. Uh, let's... 203, we're going to buy all the information on the house. Oh, things are getting really expensive here, huh? Holy cow. It's got two cameras. Front gate can only be opened remotely or from inside. There's a back gate. You can climb a scaffold behind the house. They have a dog which can eat you. Smoke detector in the kitchen. All windows have alarms. Man is out from 4 to 10 and 13 to 16. Woman is out 7 to 8 and 11 to 16. Daughter is out 9 to 10 and 13 to 18. Five foot TV in the living room. Old camcorder in the middle cabinet. Five foot computer unit upstairs. We're also going to check out Hell Neighbor. Let's see anything with 203. There's 206 there. 205. Do we see uh, plant a note unspotted? So we're going to accept that. All right. I think we're, we're all good to go. So we're going to try to grab all the major loot. We're going to try to do the major plant a note mission. Let's go do some recon. Oof, yeah, this is a monstrosity protected by a fence, cameras, no parking lots in sight. This is gonna be rough. I, can we just put the truck on the side of the road? I've always wondered that. I, I know if you park it in the road and people can't get around you, they get upset and I'll call the cops on you. But if it's here, I would think we'd be okay and we can make a quick escape off into the woods there. But uh, let's get our binoculars out. We're gonna try to see what we've got going on looks like is nobody home right now we are currently in a situation where nobody's home okay um so this is the back gate it's just got a normal lock pick i mean we could maybe try to sneak in undetected and just see what we can grab in the next hour or so we don't have to be too careful here scaffolding in the back that's going to be pretty useful Let's take this camera out. It's like they've got a drawing tablet on the table, so we can just... Ooh. Who hurt us? The dog? It's the dog. The dog hurt us. The dog stays home. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, we're gonna... We're gonna tag the dog with the binoculars. He's home all day. I kind of... Oh, shoot. There's a... a thing over here we could climb. I kind of want to see that. Is that like a big German Shepherd? That looks like... That's a, a big boy. That... That's a pit bull or something. Oh, oh! The dog can open the gate by himself. That's okay. That's a little OP. Where is this dog? I think he's supposed to be outside. How did he? Is he on the side yard? Dude, we have we have wall hacks and I can't even find him. All right, we're. Well, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna make sure that we tag everyone. We're gonna get the full picture here. I think we might be using some dog meat. I don't know how long that puts a dog out of commission. We haven't used it yet, so kind of excited for that. Should probably remember to put this camera out again. I mean, if we're a bit more silent, we should be okay. I'm gonna take the drawing tablet again. I don't know where this dog is. Took him a while to hear us. What is this here? That's the hard security panel for the windows. I don't I don't like being in a, a house where we know there's a dog, but we're not sure where the dog is. We can go inside the house. All right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna plant the evidence. Where is this dog? This doesn't make sense. So we know everyone's out of the house currently. We don't know what's gonna happen in an hour. So we probably wanna move pretty quickly here. If we could just grab one of the big items from upstairs, the Oh, there's the dog right there. Okay, let me uh, let me drop this. I'm gonna grab our binoculars. He's he's in the front yard. That's why we couldn't see him. 
All right, pick this back up. We're at least gonna take the big computer. That's gonna be one small win. Oh, okay, just gonna throw it out the window. Are we sh sure the computer's gonna be all right? Let's, let's quickly get out of here and we're gonna do some more recon. We got quickly just grab this and, and go. We're gonna have to do some more recon. Throw that down. All right. At least we got something. We didn't come out empty-handed on day one, but I'm gonna watch. It looks like we've got a couple people home now, so let's get the full picture of what we're working with here, and we can uh, come back tomorrow. Found one tenant's route. Dude, this house is so big, you can hardly see the people in it. You gotta go to different sides of the house to even be able to mark them. Dog is inside. We got somebody over here on the other side of the house. Okay. Looks like we got somebody coming home here at 7 p.m. She's gonna walk around back. Okay, we're starting to get a, a picture here, but I, I want all the information. We're gonna wait till morning. Oh, shoot. This is unfortunate. We can't pass time if we're not in a parking spot. Okay, I guess that makes sense. So we are missing a, a little bit, a little bit of functionality, but it's it's not a big deal. So we, we can wait here, but I have never seen this before. Go on by, nothing to see here. Please leave me alone. We have a thief van that we could potentially break into. This feels like a really bad idea. We have a note, hold on. Did someone drop you on your head while you were born? Next time I will slash your tires, you dumb dummy freak. Your IQ is the equivalent of my toaster, fellow 202 owner. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm really I'm really tempted to try to bust this thing open and let's see what we got going on. I feel like there could be a jump scare behind this. I really hope there's not. It's that random van on the side of the road. Let's see. We got a car battery. I can't really see much here. Catalytic converters, turbocharger. Okay. Shut that. We'll never know what happened. One thing we haven't been doing that we need to do more of is we have this inside of our truck. So anything that we pick up that's kind of, you know, heavy, the drawing tablet and whatever else we just got, like this right here, we took that from the backyard, we could throw that in there. Catalytic converters don't actually take up much space, so we're good there. Where's the turbo? Turbo charger is also 0.1. Interesting. So all the car parts are really, really cheap, which is, I guess, kind of nice, but we, oh, we want to sleep until 1 a.m. now. Back at the spot here. All right, we're going to try to tag the dog. Let me get my binoculars out. We're going to tag everyone else in the house here. Okay, we've got everyone. Looks like the dog is on patrol. He will s leave the house a little bit. I don't know if he's sleeping or what. He's got to go on a walk for a couple hours, but he's pretty much patrolling the whole day, but inside, which isn't too bad. Got one more scope out session and we'll be ready to go. Dog just left. Two of the tenants are leaving. Did we miss the dog there? I really, uh, shoot. Well, the dog's gonna come back in an hour. That's fine. And then we have somebody else upstairs sleeping. Tag them. That makes our life so much easier that we can tag. Okay, the last thing we need is the dog's location here. So when he comes back at nine, we should be able to tag that. We're gonna be all good to go. People out in their runs, just enjoying their life. Nice walks in the parks. The guy sitting on the rock with binoculars looking in somebody's huge gated house is nothing to be alarmed about, ma'am. Nothing to Ew. see here. <laughs> Coming back from his walkie, who's a good boy? He is, oh goodness. Okay, so he's in the front garden all day. Doesn't even go to the backyard. He's from front garden out of the house. Front garden. Okay, he's a terrible watchdog. We're about to eat. Scouting is all done here. Feel, feeling good about this. Let's see what we've got going on. So, out of the house, sleeping, sleeping. That's going to be one of our best times right there. Pretty much from 1 a.m. through 8 a.m. We're going to be good to go. There's somebody in hallway one at 8 a.m. I'm assuming that's going to be upstairs. We could, uh... Maybe downstairs? How many people do we have home right now? Hallway one is downstairs. So he's going to be in the, the down right corner there for two hours. Dog's going to be in the front garden. Okay. So really, as long as we're not in that bottom right corner when looking at the house from the street, we have from 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. Now, the thing is, I do think that's where one of our security panels is. Wait, why is the dog inside right now? I thought the dog, he's supposed to be in the front garden. What's he doing inside? Okay, sometimes they might change their mind a little bit, but we can see that's how you open up the front gate. And I think there's, if we take our binoculars, oh no, the other one, the other one's behind us. That's the hard security panel. That's the scaffold. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. As long as we go through the backyard, we're gonna be fine. We do have that sleeping gas. 
I'm not sure how to use it. I've never used it, but I'm assuming... Do we put it here? I for sure thought we would be putting it inside the, the AC unit to get it in the ducts of the house. Maybe we aren't supposed to use the sleeping gas yet. Maybe it just wanted us to be able to buy it, and we're going to use that for a future mission here coming soon. Obviously not going to be able to go in through any of these windows. Okay. Well, we know he's there for a couple hours, and we know we aren't going to be able to go out the front door. We have scaffolding in the back. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. Let's come back at 1 a.m. Here we go. Definitely going to want to wait for the person downstairs to go to sleep as well, but we can start hitting the upstairs off the rip here. Got a staircase there. Is he, is he outside? He's supposed to be outside, right? He's in the front garden in his doghouse. Okay. Gonna hope that means that he's not gonna be able to see or hear us, but I guess there are no promises. She's not gonna be sleeping upstairs, is she? I really hope not. Radio. She's moving. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, she is sleeping upstairs, but she's... Why does he come inside? Our... Our training is wrong. Our what's it called is wrong. Our... our, our it, it, he doesn't... He's not out in the front yard the whole time, Trev. That is a major cause of concern. Does he happen to move around inside the house? Because if so, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Got 50 bucks there. I mean, all of our actual objectives are downstairs. So maybe we kind of hit the upstairs here. I just... I like hitting all the houses... And getting all the things. So maybe we hit the upstairs and maybe we come back tomorrow. We're going to keep an eye on him. Right now at 1.43 a.m. He is not in the front garden. He is inside the house. We're just going to be really silent. We're going to take their electric toothbrushes. And we're going to be about our business. Got a TV on the wall here. Going to check this person's bedroom and office. Don't mind if I take this five-foot computer screen. Can't open those, but we can't open these. Okay, he's back out front. So he patrols a little bit. He just went back out front at 2 a.m. Let's let's keep that in mind. I might even... I don't like checking the top drawers because I can't really fully see in them. Unless I'm jumping. I'm not going to jump with this person sleeping right next to us. Nothing in these. Got a little bit of cash. Okay. I'm sorry. You're going to be late for work tomorrow morning. The people sleeping with their eyes wide open is just a, a little bit concerning to me. We... Dude, where is that gonna take us though? We have a vent we could escape through. I'm nervous about this dog situation. Let me see what happens because it's about to be 3 a.m. When do people start waking up? Oh God. 4 a.m. Somebody's gonna be leaving the house. Should I have been? Which person is this? Which tenant is that? I, I don't know which one that is because if she wake, there's no way she wakes up because she just went to, she was the last one to go to bed. She's, she's 10 at 3, so we're good. As long as we aren't moving stuff around down here, we should be good. Dog is chilling. Okay. So at 4 a.m., they're going out of the house. We got to be really smart and careful here. Dog is on the move. Got a roll of 150 bucks. I was just going to say, I feel like these dressers never have anything good, but that was pretty solid. Dog is on the move. Is, is the dog, is the dog inside? Dog is outside. Okay. Dog is, is dog supposed to be going to the side yard? See, oh shit. Dog is in the backyard now. That's going to become a problem if we're trying to escape. What the fudge? He's right there. He's supposed to be in the front yard. They're waking up, so we got to go upstairs. We, oh God. I don't know what to do. I, oh, this is not good. The good, uh, the good news is everyone's going to leave and then she's going to go out of the house here. I'm wondering, should we shut all the cabinets here? When does the dog leave the house? 7 a.m.? Honestly, 7, 7 to 8 is our free time. That's when we can move. The other person's going to be waking up at 7 and going out of the house. And then from 7 to 8, we're good. Dog's going to be back in the front garden. She's going to leave out of the house. I think we set it so that hopefully this person wakes up and doesn't notice that there was a lot of stuff rifled through. I mean, she's probably going to notice that her computer was stolen and stuff. But we can hope for the best. What are our other two loots? Old camcorder in the metal cabinet and a five foot TV in the living room. There's the TV. Backpack is full. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna use our extra skill. We're gonna have to carry that though. 
that's going to be a bit of an issue. What time are they waking up? 7 a.m., right? I want to make sure we don't mess this up, dude. I'm so nervous. Okay, waking up at 7 and leaving the house. Dog is going to be leaving the house at, at 7 at, at the same time. So we want to be hidden at 7. And then we, we, should, we should be good. Dog is making me hella nervous. I really don't like it. Take the router. Take this. We can hide in that thing if we need to. Want to take that TV if we get a chance. I left the key upstairs. Bring it down for hell's sake. Who am I talking to? Am I crazy? Okay, cabinet key is upstairs. So we're going to have to go back upstairs. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. How do we not find the key upstairs, though? Where would this key be? Oh, God, dude. We've kind of gone through a lot of things. There's the note. Stay away from my granddaughter, you moron. I will skin you alive. If you contact her again, your wife should kill you in your sleep. That's the one we planted in there. So he's going to be exposed. Dude, where? Hold on. Binoculars might help us out. Leather wallet. Oh, 203 cabinet key right there. Let's go. Dog's still outside. The cabinet key was in on the bedside table. We just couldn't see it. Okay. Let's go. Now the person downstairs is waking up in an hour exactly. And they're going to leave the house. So I, I think we should be good. Use the cabinet key. Open this slowly. Oh, God. Grab the old camcorder. We're going to have to drop something. We need to free up five kilograms. I'm going to drop the synthesizer. We're going to grab that. We're going to shut that. They're waking up very soon. Do we take the TV or do we wait? I kind of feel like we wait. I think we take any any little things. Any cash. And then we're going to go upstairs and we're going we're gonna to leave. Ah, uh, Can we take the... Uh, we, we, I think we could probably think about taking the TV and leaving. This feels like maybe a mistake, but I also don't like that the dog is there. This is where we want to leave, but the dog is right outside. What the fudge? Is he is he going to move around? I, <laughs> oh, he's leaving the house. I forgot. They're going to leave together. So hopefully we're just going to be able to be able to grab and run. Two minutes and we meet our fate, baby. Just leave the house, please. Just leave the house. The dog's gone, right? Just leave that. I couldn't get the TV out the, the window. Ooh. Going back downstairs, okay? They're leaving. How do I get this mother fudger out the window, dude? Is it possible? Oh, there it is. Yes, 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 yes. Nobody's going to hear that TV falling, are they? Dude, I can't even drop down the stairs. Let's go open up this door. Everyone's asleep. We're good to go, baby. Don't be too brash about it, Trev, but I, I think, I think we are good to go. <laughs> My goodness. All right. I really want to use the sleeping gas. But we just completed all the missions all in one. Ousted him for going after the stepdaughter. Took their expensive items. All of the above, baby. Let's go. Throw this in the back of the truck. And we are good to get the heck out of here. Nice to see you, 203. That was, that was a good one. That was not easy by any means. But that was good. I haven't sold anything in this are you crazy what's up man will you buy things from me yeah i can sell things to them five foot computer screen that's that's a big monitor there i got a couple more things for you boss uh did some garage sailing today really appreciate you buying all the uh the nice things that i was able to secure at a, a nice you know cheap price Got a computer for you here as well. Let's see. Both of those should be pretty good. Five foot computer for $875. And the TV is $1,750. Not too bad. So I think that should be good. 203. We got all loot, all missions. I'm wondering if we need to go back to the, the hideout. I really want him to teach me how to use the gas. Good words to the boss so he doesn't hang you once you pay your debt. I have a request. Get to 113 and disable a security panel for cameras. Then, snap me a few photos around the house. Okay, I mean, that's easy enough. 113, we're going back in time, baby. We're taking it way back. Let me... I'm going to grab this stuff out of here, and we're going to we're gonna sell it where we can. Go ahead and sell the drawing tablet. We're going to put everything else for Black Bay and the car parts in our storage. Looks like we've got a couple of locked phones and things. We've got a phone and a tablet we're gonna wanna hack here, so should be fairly easy. Got that one there, and then we can hack our U-Phone 2 as well. This is honestly just, it's, these are some of the easiest ones I think we've ever done. It's just all about getting it up. There's kind of an infinite number of paths you can you can take to, to get it up. That's what she said. All right, we can sell these. Don't need either of those. 281, that's another $1,000 right there. To 113 we go. 
I really want to learn how to use the, the sleeping gas. I, hopefully soon. Ooh, so this is one we have not hit before. Interesting. I like that. Going back to our old neighborhood. They haven't seen us here in a while, but feeling pretty good. Ooh, we got somebody up in the window right there. So let's take a look at what we've got going on. There are three tenants in this home. The Adleys. Looks like we've got a little bit of info on them. There are two loots and one mission that we could have accepted. We might have to go grab that before we're all said and done. Looks like we're going to have... Is this... So you could play some micro... Oh, we got a... A smart lock on the front door. I'm trying to see if we have any way around the side. Looks like that's the security panel upstairs. We've got an automatic lock pick in the back. Okay. Let me grab our binox. Looks like somebody's not home right now. Oh, goodness gracious. Lots of, of items. Wait, is this... They're in the front yard. So somebody, somebody is home right now. Okay. Just kidding. That's somebody. That's the next door neighbor. All right. Let's do a little bit more recon here. Might as well be the most efficient we possibly can. We're going to buy all the intel on 113. So we got info on the security. Camera at the front gate. Camera at the garage. All windows have alarms except for one. One window upstairs is open with no alarm. That might be our entry point. Man leaves at 8, comes back at 17. Woman leaves at 17, come back, comes back at 20. The daughter stays home all day. Bass guitar upstairs in the bedroom. Retro computer in the garage. Those are our two big pieces of loot all right well daughter's gonna be home all day mom and dad are gonna be leaving at different times of the day which is kind of unfortunate i'm thinking we probably want to just make sure that we get everyone tagged all the way through okay i think we're all good to go here so out of the house and sleeping that's probably ah uh, living room sofa and then front guard this actually might might be our best thing workroom upstairs so i think we we start to enter at 22 we get in the yard at 22 and then we have people sleeping or in the living room through 3 a.m and then at 3 a.m they're going to go to the front garden and then they're going to come upstairs and go to bed upstairs now that is a bit of a concern but at this point we would have from 11 p.m through 5 a.m pretty much unobstructed use except for the living room sofa if we cover our tracks we should be fine like when they come in the front door and go up the stairs we should know the route they're gonna take so i i think we should be good bathroom and then garage we just have to be very careful here the other option would be somewhere in here not really yeah i don't i don't love those okay yeah I guess we're we're entering at 22. Actually going to do it till 9. I think we might have a little bit more time to mess around, but this is going to be a tough one. We're going to have some people moving around. Um, I, we're going to have to make sure we're covering our tracks. We're shutting doors and drawers and things behind us. I just really want to figure out how we can get inside. Looks like we've got a ladder here that could be useful. We've got this back gate that we know that we can get into. I just want to get set up so that we're ready to go as soon as everyone goes to sleep. We've got a hedge there. We're, uh, that's the window that we want to get. I've got an idea. I remember it was like episode two. Please tell me they can't see me through the window. The, we hit the other house at the end of this this row here. Ooh, we got a couple people here. I mean, we could potentially hit them with our binoculars, tag them through the wall, get their routines going. Not bad. But yeah, we, we, I remember hitting this house on the corner and we were trying to figure out how to get in and we were going to be going through this window and we could get up on the roof. Perfect. We're just going to be able to walk down the line here. Did I see? Yes, there's a, a gate there where we could potentially jump over and be able to get away. All right. We're looking, we're looking pretty good here. Ooh, there's a bass guitar there we want to grab and we're just going to be able to Climb in this window and snatch these people up. So we've got somebody asleep. Somebody asleep on the couch right there. He's working for a bit, but he's about... Which one are we on? 113? He's about to go to sleep in the bedroom upstairs. They're all going to be asleep. The living room sofa is going to wake up and go to the front garden. That's going to be a bit of an issue. And then they're, they're going to go to sleep in the bed upstairs. Wait, never mind. I'm sorry. At midnight, this person is going to leave from the bed upstairs and go down to the living room. That is that that's a concern. So then we have free reign of the upstairs. Then they're going to go to the front yard. Everyone's going to be sleeping here. I think I might know how to use the sleeping gas. We're gonna, we're going to test it out. It's on cue. 
So I can I can select it. I don't know how it works. I'm assuming we put our respirator on and then get everyone in a room and, and use it. I, I have no idea. But we could try that at 5 a.m. So we're going to get in. We got to be careful. We got to make sure we're hidden. Make sure they don't see anything when they wake up to go to the front yard at midnight. So we're, we're going to have an hour to work. We're going to grab everything we can in here. Shut off the alarm. Start taking photos, maybe. We'll see if this works out for us. This is so freaking creepy. Just peeking around the window at people. Shut the light off. He's going to bed. Okay. This is our time to shine. So we have exactly one hour. We can't we can't have them notice anything. I'm gonna take the Xbox 360, are you kidding me? We also wanna make sure that no stone is left unturned. I'm gonna take the American whiskey, the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse. Let's shut this off. So we're looking for this one, for this one, for this one. Alarms are disarmed. All right, we have a half hour until she's gonna be coming through. We have a TV speaker there. I don't know if that's worth it. I th think, can we hide in this? I'm just gonna hide in this so we're already inside. We're just, we're, we're gonna hide in here. Okay. She's not gonna know what hit her. She's gonna wake up in seven minutes. She's gonna go down to the front yard and then we're gonna have, again, let's, let's just make sure we're, we're paying attention here. 5 a.m. is when she's gonna come from the outside, come back upstairs and everyone's gonna be sleeping. We wanna put everyone to sleep. I'm gonna use the sleeping gas on them. Don't notice the computer, please. We're good to go. Okay. So now we're free and we need to make sure, we just need to make sure we're like downstairs, not in her line of sight for when she's going to bed. We need to make sure we're getting the photos as well. So he wants a photo here. Got that. Let me see what we can grab. I'm gonna take the record player. Got a beer bottle here. I'm gonna take the bass guitar. That is not what you want to do here, Trev. No, no fat fingering. Sometimes I just get nervous and I let go of the, the button too quick. So we're good through 5 a.m. here. Take the tablet. We're good through 5 a.m. We just want to make sure we're downstairs and out of her line of sight to the stairs to go up and go to bed by 5 a.m. Keep an eye on that. And then hopefully we're going to be able to use our sleeping gas. I Again, I don't know how it works, but we're going to try our best. Was this shut? Oh, God. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. So we're going to reshut that. Let's check. Um, we're going to check the computer desk. Trash can down there. Hard drive. Want to make sure all these drawers are reshut here. And we're going to be good to go. Is there any other photos up here we had to take? I don't remember seeing any. There's one downstairs. No, we're, there's just two photos. Okay. We got lots of hard drives in here. What y'all got on these? Some scissors, nothing. Did we check all these? I don't think we checked these, did we? We did not. This just slow. Ooh. Ninlito gaming console. We'll take that. This slow, methodical opening drawer is just, it gets my anxiety through the roof here. Okay. 2 a.m. We're done with the upstairs. We're going to go downstairs. I'll take the landline. Is she gonna, so she's she's gonna come inside. Oh, the garage. Wait, she's, oh, she's in the living room and then she's gonna go to the front garden very soon. So we need to be careful about that. Retro computer. Take a photo of the, the generator here. Got it. Okay. Security panel for the garage. I don't think we really care about that. Good thing we took down the cameras because I didn't even look in the corner. Okay, so she's gonna be going out to the front yard in a couple moments we're just gonna we're gonna wait for that i'm hoping she's not in a spot where she's gonna be able to see it this, see this i don't like it when they're moving around and we gotta slowly methodically move with them last photo i think is gonna be in the living room we can hit everything downstairs i don't even know if we're gonna have to put them to sleep but i'm kind of tempted to try it she's going out front okay just be careful she doesn't freaking see you through the window because she's kind of looking this direction. Nothing there. Let's be smart here, Trev. Remember, we've got two hours. We want a photo of the living room. Got it. Mission's complete. Let me see. The shades are down, so... Oh, God. We're going to be able to open up every single one of these. I don't even know if that's worth it. I mean, your boy leaves no, no stone unturned, though. Not going to find anything in the trash can. Cheap blender. Not going to be able to pick that up, though. There's literally 
nothing in here. She's getting tired. She's going to come in and go to bed soon. Nothing there. I mean, I... Oh, God. Are you freaking kidding me? Nothing there. I mean, we're probably going to want to hide here, aren't we? Can I take this? Can't pick that up. Okay. Um... There are just so many little drawers and things we can open. I'm assuming she's not going to be coming through the house here. She's just going to go in and go straight upstairs. I'm looking for if there's any cash we can grab. Can't even pick up the tablet. Do we, is, has this refreshed yet? Cool down for 56 more seconds. That's unfortunate. Wish we had a bigger backpack. All right. She, I mean, I'm going to go upstairs. I honestly, I think we could leave. I really, I really wanted to use the, the sleeping gas, but we got everything. We, we, Took the photos that we needed. We grabbed all the important loot. We went through everything except a few drawers. So I'm, I'm thinking we're probably just good to get the heck out of here. Well done. Well executed. Saving the sleeping gas for another day. I'm just wondering how, like, it, the sleeping gas, can we just go in a house and use it and the whole house is fumigated? Or is it like, do we have to be in the same room as the people? How long do they sleep? We're going to have to, I'm sure one of these coming up, we're going to need Great it. Job. You may actually survive this. I'd get some rest if I were you, though. Something big is coming. Oh, boy. That sounds exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. All right. We probably want to drop off all of our Black Bay items. One keyboard, decent SSD drive, Nintendo gaming console. And the rest, we're going to get rid of this very, very full backpack here. Make some money. Looks like we've got a bunch of Black Bay things we do. This is... We're, we're just making money hand over fist here. Okay. What I want to do... He says get some rest. I don't want to rest here. We're going to we're gonna pick a house in the 113s. We're going to buy some Rob tips on it. The Foster's here. It's, it's in the same line that we had before. I'm going to buy all of the information. We also want to plant an unspotted note. So we're going to... We're going to tackle that as well. We're going to try to completely... Knock this house out. We're going to hit everything that they have. And I want to do it while they're home. I, I just, I'm, I feel like if there's something big coming and we might be able to benefit from using the sleeping gas, we probably want to figure out how to use the, the sleeping gas. So this will be, uh, this will be interesting. What number were they? I'm pretty, were they 114? No, 112, the Fosters. So somebody's not home right now. They're both home here. I kind of want to see if they just pass out. I'm going to, I'm going to wait till 6 PM or maybe 5 PM just to give us a little bit of extra time. I think one of the tips it gave us is that we will be able to go in through the back gate. You can enter through a, a vent at the back. Okay. And we know that there's an entry point over here and then we can climb the fence. I just love how over time you kind of learn the neighborhood and you learn what's available and the quickest and easiest way is for you to be able to get around. Let's throw this on. So we're going to be able to enter through the vent at the back, which is right here. Is One's in the front yard, one's in the living room. Then one's going to be in the bathroom and one's in the hallway. Bathroom and hallway, living room and bathroom, living room and... Oh, both in the living room here. We might want to wait for that. I, I'm, I'm just... I'm curious how this is all going to... Oh, we're in the... Is somebody coming to the bathroom? Somebody is coming to the bathroom. They're going to come in in here. That's Aha. Aha. That's a, a bit of a concern. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go upstairs here. Whew. There's cameras in the garage. Do we know where the camera system panel is? Somebody's going to be in the bathroom, hallway, bathroom, hallway. We might be okay here. Is this all set up the same? I don't think it's set up the same because the other place had the setup up here. I'm going to... Oh, God. I don't I don't want the printer. I don't. I, if I can't fit it in my hands, I don't want it. We could hide under the the bed if we wanted to. Ooh. Oh, bracelet in the safe. I might, I might hit this safe up real quick. We got 33... 21 can you do something for me 78 being a, a bit aggressive here but we're okay we got a silver bracelet that's gonna be worth a pretty penny now i i'm just i'm curious if we're like if we put them to sleep are we just gonna be able to run around and be as loud as we want and throw things out and like it, it'd be pretty epic Hall, what they're both inside right now i just i want to see what happens so let's we're gonna put our respirator on Get the sleeping gas. That did not work. I like the, the noise on the respirator. Okay, so I, I think... 
They're both going to be in the living room here. I guess we'll hit them at 21. We could, we could start hitting the upstairs. We don't have to worry about shutting things. We're going to try putting them to sleep at 21. So you need to be really close. To, that makes more sense. I wonder if you can put it in the AC or in the vent or something. I don't know. I feel like we're missing a, a tutorial here, but we'll figure it out. Got a little USB Wi-Fi adapter. Used to have those for my uh -huh. Xbox 360. I'm going to grab all those. They're going to go to the living room. I mean, we're already freaking cleaning house, but we can clean up the downstairs, I guess. Got some more money there. They're both going to be in the living room in an hour. So we got a little bit of time here. Got a scanner there. Really fill it up the backpack, baby. We're becoming so efficient. I'm going to steal their silver medal. What'd they get that for? I feel bad. Got a little bit of cash here. Sometimes when the drawers are moving, you're trying to grab something. It gets a little bit awkward. I'm going to take your alarm clock. I don't know why we always take that, but it's fine. Somebody's smartphone left it by the bed. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. We're going to wait for them both to go to the living room. We're going to gas them out. We have to be careful about these two cameras. There's a camera inside and near the garage door. I really don't like that. I was trying to look for where we could shut the cameras off. But here we go. It's go time. All right. Respirator on. This is... We knocked him out, baby. Let's go. All right. Can we... I don't know if we can make as much noise as we want now. I feel like I want to test it, but I also feel like that's a really bad idea. I think we got to get our hands back and take our, our respirator off. Does their Zs... Do their Zs change colors, maybe? If they get closer, I just... I, how, how do we know when they're about to make up, wake up and how, how do we know how much noise we can make. I'm going to take the red toaster. We're going to plant some evidence. I watch you guys every night. You are a beautiful couple. Really sweet. Oh, that's disgusting. There's the security panel for the window shutters. Here's the security panel for the cameras. I don't want to risk too much here. Red, blue, disarmed. If we would have potentially... Oh, they're waking up, I think. It's They're turning red. Oh, shit. What, what are they going to do? They're both going to go up to bed and go to sleep. Dude, that does not last very long at all. We could steal their car. We might steal their car. That's not a bad a bad look. I, I, let's make it worth it. You know what I mean? We worked this hard for this. We're going to make it worth it. Security panel for the garage. We need the green. We need the red. And we need the other red. We're gonna wait for them to go to sleep. We're gonna hit the rest of the house and then at 4 a.m. we could put them to sleep again. Honestly, a little bit disappointed in it though. I really thought they were gonna be out for a while. I am curious if you can like run around and, and be loud. If you can run around and be loud, that's pretty good. If not, it's it's a little bit, a little bit rough. So we're, ah, oh, shoot. We're gonna have to use the, the old school hot wire method. She's going up to bed. We're gonna, finish off this house here we have all of the downstairs to get through i mean this this is going to be a hell of a hit baby i'm proud of us this this was our most efficient one yet is there anything in there that's that a dex camera nice we'll take that but I, I i'm a little bit disappointed if i'm being honest i i thought they would be out for longer what was that like less than an hour i'll have to go back and watch the footage but it, it was not nearly as long or as effective as I thought it was going to be. But if you're in a tricky situation and you really you really need a little bit of extra time, we've we've got it as an option. It's just unfortunate that it's so ineffective. Didn't check that. There's nothing in there. We can grab the TV. They're both going to be asleep till four. Then somebody's going to be down the living room. We could grab the painting. Hmm. Got to think about what's really worth it here. Going to be able to grab a smartphone. Don't be leaving your old smartphones in your drawers, baby. I'm going to take them. We're not going to be able to take the TV if we're stealing the car, though. I feel like stealing the car might be a bad idea, but we're just, we're going to go for it. We hit this place clean. We're good to go. Let's try our best with the car and see if we can get the heck out of here. I actually have an idea. This is, I, I'm leaving no stone unturned here. <laughs> our truck is across the street, so we, I, shoot. I don't know how that's going to work, though. I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to throw the TV out here and let's let's steal the car because that's worth way more. And maybe we'll be able to come back because I think if we steal the car, our truck is going to reset. Please don't see me in the garage. 
We're good. Our truck is going to reset and it's... Well, is it going to reset with the TV in it then? Let's find out. We're going to F around and find out right now. Hopefully, it's going to bring it back to our garage with the TV in it. So let's drop that in there. We're going to get back. We're going to steal this car. And this is going to be our best payday yet, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Open this bad boy up. It doesn't have a car alarm, right? There's nothing on the front where I would potentially have to have to do it. it it's an older Jeep, so there's no way. Car theft level one. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Our most efficient theft yet. Let's just get, get straight out of here, baby. Put them to sleep. They don't even know what happened. They woke up. They were like, oh, man, we fell asleep watching that, you know, uh, Netflix show. Woke up to yeah, whatever it is. Are you still watching? Our truck is back and the TV's in it, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That is amazing. Now we've got this Jeep back here. I might leave that for the time being just in case there's something later on where we need to part this out or we need to do something with it. I don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. And uh, that, my friends, is a job well done. So we are going to go to sleep. It looks like we're going to have a big mission starting in the next episode. And uh, I will see you guys there. Good night.